I'm going to try to fix this here MC4K that I pulled off like a weirdo. <laughs> A couple of things I've learned is that this male right here, the piece inside is a female, and then this female right here, the piece that goes inside of it is a male. To show you the difference, the one that goes in is the male, the one that it can fit into is the female. So they basically mismatch. This is the Bougie V crimper. <laughs> I don't know how to use this, but I'm gonna figure it out. One tip that somebody showed in the video is when you put this in here, it has to go in that way. And they were saying that I should put it flush with the thing, not have it too high or not have it too low because it'll mess up the crimp. Now there are some things on here, some numbers that I don't understand. One says 2.5, one says four, and one says six. I, I don't know what that means. So one thing I do know for sure is that because this one is gonna be the female, I need to use the male thing to go around here. So basically what you do is you put that wire in there like that, and then you just have to crimp it on. Some people, from what I've seen, they put the thing in here first. I, it doesn't go like that. It goes the other way. I feel like I need to bend it just a little bit because it doesn't quite fit. All right, maybe that'll work. So I'm kind of feeling it to make sure that it's right at the edge. So it's in there, as you can see. <laughs> I guess this is now or never right here. I hope this is the right port, but if it's not, what are we gonna do? It's already in here. I'm gonna put the wire in here. I'm gonna attempt to squeeze it. And it looks like it went on pretty good. Let me show you. I could get this thing up out of here. Shoot. Okay. So that is what I ended up with. You can see that that thing kind of crimped it over. It's on there pretty good. So now what I have to do, I have to twist this stuff off. Okay, cool. That thing, I didn't know that thing was going to come apart. You put this on here. Um, I'm going to say, shoot. Yeah, that's how it was. You put that on there. Get it set in there pretty good. Now, what they also said is that you have to push this in here. If you could see really closely, there's these little ridges on here, like almost like little hook catches. So they can allow the thing to go in and then lock it in place. So I need to push this in until it locks in place. I felt a little snap. That's how it looks on the inside. Move it a couple angles just to make sure you guys can see. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna try and push this up. So it makes a good little seal. It's not making a tight seal or anything like that. This is the thing that kind of seals it in. So I'm gonna twist that on. And then after a while, oh, it's going on pretty good by hand, so. I may just do it by hand. Yeah. Boom, dizzle, high kizzle for shizzle. Now, these tools came with it, and I saw firsthand that this Renergy one, which is the one I prefer, does not fit these. Oh, I, actually, yeah, it just it doesn't fit it. What I think I discovered was this Bougie V one couldn't fit the one that I had on here, <laughs> but it fits this one pretty nicely because it has uh, grooves on it, and this is a Bouge RV connector. This is not a Bouge RV connector, and that will not fit. It just will not get on there. I thought I had a problem, but then I remembered I had two styles. So that's done. So this panel is good to go. What it's gonna do, it's gonna replace those two panels right there to power, send 200 watts into my EB120. You may look at all these panels that I have, and if you're new to the channel, you should check out this particular video up here that shows you what I do with all of these panels and all of these power stations that I have. Live holla. <laughs>